Welcome back to Inside Texas Tech. We're coming to you from the beautiful state capital in Austin. It's Texas Tech Day celebrating the Texas Tech University system. One of the key components of the Texas Tech system is Angelo State University located in San Angelo. Their state representative is Drew Darby. The chancellor had a chance to sit down and visit. Let's take a look. Representative Darby, uh, today uh, we're working through the legislative process. You're on appropriations. I am. In the uh, last uh, session, uh, Texas Tech system lost about $67 million and we had about 2,000 more students. So it's been tough for us. It, it has been, but I heard your comments earlier and, and I know you didn't whine then and I know you're not going to whine now. No, I'm not whining. <laughs> I got real close a couple of times. Senator Duncan said that I got real close. But uh, I, I want to ask you, with this year's budget, are we doing better? Uh, I what? think we are, Chancellor. I think we're going to have a chance to fix some of those holes that we created last session. I think uh, this will be my fourth session, fourth session to serve on appropriations. And this is the first session in all of those four that we have a little bit more money. The outlook looks better in the months and, and years to come. And so I think we're going to be able to fix some of these problems and plug some of the holes that we dug last time. I'm very optimistic that we can help bring some support back to institutions of higher learning and, and try to undo some of that uh, harm that we did. Because really, you know, when we talk about state funding, we all know that we're just switching the obligations from the state to the institutions and from the institutions to the families and students that they serve. So it's just a shifting of a burden and uh, we've gone too far in that regard. Well, one of the things I always tell people, you got two sources of money, you got students and you got the state. Good. And uh, uh, 12 years ago uh, that uh, Texas Tech, it was about 50% was provided to the state. Uh, now throughout the system, it's about 23%. One other thing I wanted to talk to you about, uh, Angelo State, uh, you represent San Angelo. I do. And that uh, Angelo State's a very important part of uh, the Texas Tech system. Uh, we've got right at 7,000 students. And, you know, they had a $7 million budget cut. And percentage-wise, they had a tougher cut than right. Texas Tech or the yeah. Health Science Center. Yes. And that uh, so they've gone through a tough time. But it looks like we're going to get some increases and that uh, we'll be able to avoid any substantial uh, increases in tuition. Well, and, and that's the aim. We, again, as we find resources to help the institutions, including Angelo State University, hopefully that that will reduce the burden upon parents and students as they try to uh, better themselves and achieve higher uh, learning uh, strategies that we can help them in that process and of course Angelo State University just like every other institute of higher learning had to suffer a, a pro rata reduction in their budget and and I see firsthand how that impacts uh, the communities in which these institutions serve. I happen to have uh, three uh, daughters in in those institutions of higher learning and so I I know very well uh, the impact that it has on families and the cost uh, to achieve these higher education levels on behalf of these students and families.